Notice, if you will, the half-caste child. And there are ever-increasing numbers of them. Now, what is to happen to them? Are we to allow the creation of an unwanted third race? Should the coloreds be encouraged to go back to the black? Or should they be advanced to white status and be absorbed in the white population? Now, time and again, I am asked by some white man, if I marry this colored person, will our children be black? And as chief protector of Aborigines, it is my responsibility to accept or reject those marriages. Here is the answer. Three generations. Half-blood grandmother, quadroon daughter, octroon grandson. Now, as you can see, in the third generation, or third cross, no trace of native origin is apparent. The continuing infiltration of white blood finally stamps out the black color. The Aboriginal has simply been bred out. <laughs> Perhaps the time has come to reinstitute an old custom. Grant them prima nocte. First night, when any common girl inhabiting their lands is married, our nobles shall have sexual rights to her on the night of her wedding. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out. We'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. If we can't get them out, we'll breed them out. Excellent idea, sire. Is it? <laughs>